Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at No Star. Today we are going to write a SQL query to calculate the running total, the running sum or the running averages. Now this is a very common business requirement and the first query that we're going to write is going to be a simple SQL query using Windows function to calculate the running total for every order placed. In the second query, we are going to make the scenario a little more complex and we are going to calculate the running total only at the end of each day. So there can be multiple orders in a day, but we are going to calculate the running total for each day. The difference between the queries is going to be very simple and very small, but it is going to help us identify why it is so important to define a proper Windows frame. Now this time, instead of creating some dummy data and dummy tables to write and test out my scenario, I'm going to take a very easy approach. I'm going to go to LearnSQL.com. Now LearnSQL.com provides code editors where you can interactively write your SQL code. It is one of the leading SQL training platforms and it provides SQL courses for different skill levels as well as industry specific SQL tracks. Once you complete a SQL course, you also have an option to write an exam and you can obtain a certificate of competency in SQL from LearnSQL.com. If you're not sure of which SQL course is right for you, you can also perform a SQL assessment, which is completely free and tests you on some core competency areas. And based on your results, LearnSQL.com will provide you personal recommendations on which courses are most suitable for you. If you just want to practice writing some SQL queries, you also have the SQL practice courses that will provide tons of interactive exercises. I'm going to search on Windows functions since they can be tricky and are very important for writing advanced SQL queries. And now I have a list of courses which are based on Windows functions. They're all advanced level courses. There's a practice set if I just want to perform some practice queries. But I'm going to go to the Windows function course clearly explains the skills that you will gain after completing this course and you have the table of contents that will also track the course progress that you have made and how many exercises you have completed. Now to solve the SQL query that we discussed for this session, I'm going to take help of the example provided in this course on Windows function on LearnSQL.com. Now I'm inside the course content and you can see that there is an explanation on the left hand side and on the right hand side I have a code editor where I can write my SQL query. I also have a query results view and I have another tab called database. If you click on database it is going to give you a snapshot of all the tables that are used in the examples in this course. So we have four tables product, stock, change, single order and order position. For our example, we are going to focus on the single underscore order table. In this table, you can see that we have some IDs, order IDs, and this is the date on which the order was placed, and this is the total price of the order. Now, the first SQL query that we're going to write is going to calculate a running sum of all the orders placed, and it is going to be sorted by date. So I'm going to go to the code editor and simply start writing my query. So select ID place total price and then sum of total price over order by placed rows unbounded preceding from single underscore order. So here unbounded preceding means that all the rows that are above the current row will be taken into account while calculating this sum. Now I'm just going to execute this query and I see the results in the query results tab and I can see that it is a running total for each order. Now if we observe closely, we can see that the above three orders were placed on the same date, but they have different running total values because it's summed based on each order. Now instead of it summing on every order, in a same day, I want to find the value only at the end of the day. So in that case, what we need to do is change your query a little bit. Now the change that you need to do is simply changing the rows window frame to a range window frame. Execute this query again. And now you will see that the results are based on the sum for the whole day and only one value at the end of the day gets summed up in the running total. 
Now, the same explanation that I just gave is provided in a very easy to understand manner over here. You also have the example. So first you have an example using the rose window frame and the results that come with the rose window frame. And then they have replaced the rose window frame with the range window frame and they have highlighted the differences in the result. Once you are able to understand these examples, you also have an exercise that you can attempt. Again, you can use the code editor to write your SQL query to answer the exercise. If you are stuck anywhere, you can use show me the answer and you will have another tab open up called answer which, which will have the SQL query that is the right answer to this exercise. Another useful feature are some of these icons on the left side. For example, this one is a cheat sheet. So if I just click on this, it will give you some background concept about the functions that you need to use while writing your SQL query. You can also have a notepad where you can make some notes while going through the course. The best part about these courses is the interactivity, the option to write your code in a code editor and execute it simply on a browser, and the detailed explanation that they have provided for some very important SQL concepts that will surely help you master your SQL skills. All these courses are provided at very affordable prices and I also have a promo code and the link in the description for some extra savings. If you like the video then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like, comment and share the video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.